so news broke this weekend that John Cohen would be the new AD at Auburn. Why is that significant? Because Auburn is probably where is Auburn is having the worst season they've had probably since 2012, and they may end up being worse than that. Right now, it's basically like a, a formality of Brian Harson not no not being retained as the coach of Auburn. A lot of people are now saying like, "Oh well, Mississippi State didn't want him." Like, what? Mississippi State didn't want John Cohen. This is what I'm not understanding. They just gave him a four-year extension, right? Baseball guy, played under Ryan Pope. Mississippi State, first of all, everybody's so crazy about Butch, the baseball coach at Auburn, but that's his guy. He, he He's a Butch guy. Like, when Butch Thompson was interviewing for the Auburn job, John Cohen was going to bat for him, saying that nobody could hire a better coach than that guy. He got on the table and, you know, he, he stood on the table for him. So I don't understand that narrative. Uh, you know, I think I saw somewhere they were saying, like, you know, they didn't, like, Butch Thompson wasn't going to like it or something like that. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Y'all just, just, they're just throwing stuff at the wall, see what sticks. The basketball, so this is what I do like about John Corn. These are the points that I like about Corn. If, if Corn's the guy, this is why I think he is the guy. One, when he made a mistake, he didn't wait to correct it. So when he hired, when he hired uh, Moorhead as from who was the offensive coordinator at Penn State as the head coach of Mississippi State football, he went eight. He underachieved with three first round de defensive picks, and uh, I think he had Willie Gay on that team too, uh, who, who, who's balling for the Chiefs. So he had a, he had an NFL laden, an NFL talent laden defense, and didn't do a lot with it. And then year two, it kind of fell apart. And then I think Willie Gay and Garrett Schrader are supposed to got into a fight or something. He just kind of lost control of the team. And uh, he didn't wait. He, he, he pulled a plug on that experiment and went and got Mike Leach. A lot of people probably like, oh, well, he, he went and got Mike Leach. Was that a good hire? I mean, at the end of the day, to bring some stability in there, somebody's going to put up some points. And if you could get Mississippi – I mean, it, it, it was a good hire from Mississippi State. It was a Mississippi State hire. Um, you get your, you get the right players in there. You get somebody who can sling the ball around. You know you're going to put up points, and you know as long as Mike Leach is there, you're gonna at least going to be competitive. You know that. All right, so I thought that was a pretty solid hire. But more so, the, the point was that he was able to admit a mistake and not just hang on to it for the hell of it. And he moved on and went and got a, a, and made a better hire. He learned from his mistakes and made a better hire. The other thing I like about him is he was very vocal about NIL. And I think that is so important. I think him saying that, you know, understanding how dire the situation is for NIL collectors to be involved in order to raise the money to compete in this arms race that we have now called college football. I think that was so important that he stood up and said, hey, I need your help early on. He made sure, and he was disappointed about it, and he was like, he let people know, y'all need to open up that checkbook if y'all need, if you, if you want to be successful. He took a very, very pointed stance towards it, and I, and I thought that was something that probably would be needed at Auburn in order to be successful, somebody who understands the importance of NIL, because that lets me know that you understand the importance of recruiting. You understand that you got to have guys, which leads me to my third point. Chris Jans came from New Mexico State. They had a a, a very, very good run, man, uh, NCAA tournaments. But what I liked about that hire, after he let go of Ben Howland, who, 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 you know, he let Ben Howland go and he hired Jans. Why? Jans is a Juco grinder coach that understands recruiting and players and what it takes to get guys there. Jans recruits basketball. He's in tune from the people that I know that know Chris Jans and have dealt with him, whether it been on the Juco circuit back in the day, or has been in some of his later roles when, uh, as far as like, even if he was, were to visit uh overtime elite here in Atlanta, they say when the man pulls up, man, he's talking to everybody. Uh, he understands the importance of getting players 
and he's a he, he's a grinder for a recruiter. In the press conference, the first thing that he said that Cohen said about hiring Chris Jans was he is a recruiter. So understanding the, import, the importance of hiring guys that can attract talent. That is another reason why I think that Cohen would be a good hire. And if not for nothing, I just think that um, I think Cohen will give you the best shot of somebody being able to hire Dion. And I think I think he, I think Dion gets an interview with Cohen. I absolutely do.